Okay, moving up to 158 pounds, a couple of national rank wrestlers. As a matter of fact, Larry, in the amateur wrestling news polls, these are two wrestlers uh, ranked in the top ten. We've got a number three wrestler, Cardwell of Oregon State, and Morgan of Bloomsburg, ranked eight. Dave Morgan has really come on very strong. He's been at this tournament before and done well, but Jeff Cardwell has been around a long time, and uh, I could say that uh, uh, with his ranking third in the country at this weight class, he's, he's a very tough wrestler. Ready to go at 167. Uh, 158, Cardwell of Oregon State and Morgan of Bloomsburg. Jeff Cardwell is a senior from Fall Creek, Oregon. Dave Morgan is from Westchester, Pennsylvania. He's a junior. Have not had anything even resembling a fall. Not even an earfall. Here. Okay, gentlemen, take Interestingly enough, right Larry, now. last year in the finals, there were no falls either. They were all decisions. Had only one pin the season before. Stay on the map. Watch the knee. And you know, Larry, as I look through the last four years of this tournament, interestingly enough, we have had only one fall in the last four years of the championship finals of this tournament. Two. Takedown for Morgan. Break center. Fred's up. Morgan from Bloomsburg, the Husky out of Westchester, PA, is a junior. Now, if I were to ask you what wrestler affected the only fall in this tournament in the finals in the last four years, okay, who now. would you say it might be? We'll make that a trivia thing for everybody who thinks that they follow local wrestling. Was he from Lehigh? Oh, yeah, I'm not going to give you a lot of guesses, Lawrence. You're going to have to. I'm just helping those people at the other end. All right, all right. I'll tell you. He was he was a Lehigh wrestler, That's and we right. won't tell who it is till the end of this. Uh, okay, okay, so I, mean, the I just made their thinking a lot, a lot easier. Okay. I mean, I could see Barthol, Freddie Files running for the books now and trying to figure out what's okay. what. Okay, the question is, who is the only wrestler to affect a pin in the last four years of this tournament in the championship finals? Lehigh wrestler. We'll tell you next period. 2-0 lead. It wasn't Caruso, I know that. <laughs> Break. Center. No, it wasn't, it wasn't Mike Caruso. <laughs> Still in control over Jeff Cardwell. Cardwell ranked third at this weight class and Morgan ranked eighth. Okay. Yeah, as we mentioned in the uh, pre-match, this is the only championship final where Two wrestlers ranked in the top ten are meeting. Cardwell ranked third and Morgan ranked eight. Break, break, break. That's stalling. You've got to make an honest attempt to bring him down and keep him on track. Mark Piven is the official in charge of the tournament, and he is the official in charge of this bout. Well, what he's saying is that uh, when that. you lift up a leg, you just can't waltz around with it. You have to make it a sincere attempt to bring the wrestler back down to the mat. If you don't do that, it's considered hanging on. And hanging on is stay in, guys. part stay of the in. Easy. many stalling criteria. And it's the same thing you see if you stand up. And if the guy stands up and you hold him around a tight stay waist, on the mat, guys. Stay and you don't bring him down, the again, that's stalling. Get on. So Cardwell trying to gain escape of some sorts out of Fall Creek, Oregon. He's a senior. He's been down here before. In the mouth for seventh place, Neil Russo. Larry, I'm going to tell you something even more amazing about that statistic about the pins. There's been only one pin in the last seven years in this tournament, not four. In the mouth for fifth place, Neil Russo. I was just trying to think how many times Morgan's been in the finals. He was in the finals in, in 85. 
Morgan lost to Scott Turner last year, and Cardwell was in the finals in 85, losing to Togas at 158, and Morgan won last year at 150. Minute to go in the period. Watch your knee. Watch that knee. And they Stop go out. Whistle. You guys work yourselves back towards that middle. Still a 2-0 lead. For Morgan of Bloomsburg, the junior from Westchester. He is in the maroon uniform on the top. He's still. In the semifinals, Cardwell oh. knocked off Pat Smith of uh, James Madison, 10-3. Oh. And Morgan had a tough bout Question. with John Barrett of Lockhaven, winning 6-5. All right. No caution. You racked it to that map. Wait for me. Fifty-five seconds to go in the period. 2-0 lead. Dave Morgan of Bloomsburg. Looking to repeat his championship. Last year he defeated Mike Arena of Hofstra. 11-7 to become the champion. One point. Looking to make it two in a row. You're content to drive him right off and try to stay on this mat. I'm sorry. You're just hanging on it. Okay, now there's a point. There's a point. Stalling was called earlier. And now he calls him for stalling again and penalizes him a point because he felt, as he expressed it clearly, you're content to drive him out of bounds and not try to take him down. Now here's the situation. Bring him down. He's telling him, bring him down. Just don't hang on. Now he brought him down. So you have to motivate Move these uh, wrestlers every now and then, Shell. Stay in. Almost threaten them with bodily harm, but. Uh, 22 seconds to go in the period. Dale Thomas, coach of Oregon State, kind of. Uh, Set. I wouldn't call his uh, wor words of encouragement. Like he's literally yelling at his wrestler. Set. Scolding him. To get up and get out of there. 19 seconds left in the first period. Right. Morgan been in control for over two and a half minutes. It's an attempt that may become an escape, but it is. With one second to go, an escape ties it up at two all. So we're tied at two all, ready to go here Green in the choice. second period. Morgan of Bloomsburg Green and Cardwell period. of Oregon Top State. Mark Red. Piven, what finding want? out what the officials Red want to do. Down, so, Larry, a trivia question, which was, who owns so the only two, pin in this two. tournament? We thought Second it would be over the last three years, yeah. four years, but it has been over the last it's seven still. years. There Get has on. been only one fall. One fall in the last seven belongs to a Lehigh wrestler who did it. We give you one guess. Early. Wrong. <laughs> so those of you that said Peter Yazo, will get our award back in 1985 at 142 yazo pinned marty Stay king right. of bloomsburg at 142. the reason i didn't think of him because he admittedly told me even when he won the nationals last year Set. he said i'm not a pinner <laughs> so i had he was that, he was that night i i had that fred that comment fresh in my mind and i thought if well, he's well, not a pinner well, i'll tell you not only did sandy snyder know it was yazo but he even Stay knew on. who he pinned He's got the book up there in the top of the balcony up there. Go to toe. Still tied on the board with 123 left in the second period and a kind of a dull bout marked by a, an escape, a penalty on one part and a takedown on the other. But Morgan may slip over the cross the top of Kennedy and does and gets the reversal. Yazo, of course, was right one on. of that group of elite wrestlers that Larry mentioned that won this tournament three times. Set. Look at this reversal again. Yeah, I think uh, it was a little surprising Set. that uh, it came with such ease. But what he did, he flipped those legs over, and then he made sure his points were in bounds when he came through. So he got the reversal. That happens a lot. Wrestlers relax. They think they're out of bounds, and they, you don't hear a whistle. Just keep moving. Good. There's an escape. Middle, middle, now 4-3. Get in there. 
Herding sheep. He's telling the wrestlers to work towards the center. Get in there, keep wrestling. 30 seconds left. Interesting thing in talking to uh, Scott Turner earlier, I said, how are your dual meet season? He said, we had a tough loss to uh, Iowa State. I think it was 23 to 20. Uh, Iowa State beating North Carolina State in a real crucial battle. Uh, he said, uh, somebody had a, somebody defaulted from NC State and that didn't help. Don't Five seconds scissor. left. Don't head scissor. Period ends. Second period is over. Green choice. Top bottom or standing. And That's down. Morgan Green continues to lead by a 4-3 score over Cardwell. Last period, gentlemen, scores so four. So his three. choice, he says, I'll take down. He being Jeff Cardwell. He's down by one. Okay, now. But he's also down by a lot of minute and 53 seconds time advantage. Bring him down, bring him down. Stay in. Right, right, right. Stop near the edge of the mat. Mark Piven, the official. This look and shell, uh, 19, 1984 for Westchester East. State champion, that? Dave Morgan, 138 pound class. Jack Kubo also won that night. Skate. And wrestling that night at uh, winning AA in 1984 with Joe Cesari, who will probably get a third. Bill Freeman, who you'll see later at 100 and I think 190. He'll be wrestling Rupal of Lehigh, Freeman. And Dave Kennedy won that year, 1985, representing Athens. He wrestled earlier. Bout is tied at 4-4, but a significant two minute and 17 second riding advantage to Dave Morgan. Stalemate. Stalemate called with a minute and six to go. One minute, guys. Keep active. Hold it. Hold it. So the guaranteed time advantage is on the board now for Morgan. So while it's tied 4-4, he's got the uh, time advantage, and if they end up on their feet, he wins about as a result of that riding time. Great. Attempt to shoot at the last moment by Cardwell. Cardwell knows he, he must get the takedown. He's in, backed off by Morgan. Cardwell needs the takedown to win. Morgan just has to hold him off. Morgan in again on that single. He can lock up there and we'll get a Let's stalemate. Let's improve it. Stalemate. Piven trying to keep these wrestlers moving. Counter. Down to 25 seconds. It's tied on the board, but time advantage belongs to Dave Morgan of Bloomberg, who was seated two. Cardwell seated number one. Keep wrestling. Center. So Morgan may pick up a second Sheridan title with 11 seconds to go, though. He's in on a single. Coming around the back. But he's going to run well. out of time. He's going to run out of time, and it'll be a 5-4 to four win with the riding time point added in for Dave Morgan of Bloomsburg, who wins his second Sheridan title and is the champion at 158 pounds. And so we conclude the 158-pound bout, and we'll be back with more wrestling here on the Sheridan Wrestling Tournament as we move down into the final four bouts of the championship finals in just a moment. At 158, Morgan of Bloomsburg edged Cardwell of Oregon, 5-4.